What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know who I am and welcome back to another episode of Film Stock Reviews. In this episode, I'm reviewing Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead is directed by Zack Snyder and it stars Dave Bautista and it tells the story of mercenaries who must go into Las Vegas after a zombie outbreak and take back $200 million in a vault under the city that is in one of the casinos. Now, Dave Bautista gets his team back together that he has. From the beginning of the movie, we see the events from the beginning of the movie of how the so-called evidently zombie outbreak happened, but it's not explained how. Uh, we go into depth of who these different characters are. The good thing about this movie is that this is an ensemble cast, and it's a huge cast of characters. Zack Snyder knows how to work story-wise into characters and he knows what to do with it. Zack Snyder hasn't done a zombie movie since the Dawn of the Dead remake that he did, which was a fantastic remake, and him doing Army of the Dead was really good to see. The story more so is lean toward how Dave Bautista and his character and how he has to cope with the loss of his wife and how his daughter usually is um, trying to cope with the loss as well. The interesting thing about this is that Dave Bautista really shows his acting craftiness. He did turn down The Suicide Squad, a starring role in that which was directed by James Gunn, to star in this movie, Army of the Dead, directed by Zack Snyder. I think that was a great, great idea. And here's the thing that was interesting about this movie. The zombies have an alpha. Yes, there's a zombie king and queen, so to speak. And the alpha is just so badass in this. It takes all the zombie tropes out of the window and it just makes your whole mind go crazy. These aren't slow zombies. They're the fast zombies. These zombies sleep and hibernate and noise wakes them up. And it's just insane. The reason the alpha zombie is going after them is for one reason and one reason only. And I don't want to give the spoiler away. Now, the interesting thing about this is that not only is the alpha zombie the so-called bad guy in this, Hiroyuki Sonata is also in this as well, and he also plays the bad guy who hires Dave Batista and his friends to go into and steal this money back, evidently. And basically he says that if they find it, they can keep it, and they can get their own cut of it here and there. There is a comedic aspect to this movie as well, since uh, the character of Dieter, who is a German safe cracker, is really funny. He really brightens up the movie a little bit. But the movie, on an aspect of story-wise, is very emotional with Dave Bautista's character. He wants to set things right with his daughter, and also doing so, he must watch out for her. Because she joins the team in a mission to find another girl or woman that went in to steal money for her kids, evidently, so she can get out of this quarantine camp, so to speak. The movie from start to finish is interesting, but it's very, very fun. The movie's two hours and 28 minutes long. It's not too bad, but, you know, the movie takes time to build up. And I want to say the last 45 minutes of the movie is really, really good. That, that's what all I can say. Everything just starts happening. It's in your face. And it's really, really fun. And unlike Dawn of the Dead, which had more of so of a zombie feeling aspect to it, and each character in that movie had their own story, this is the same. Army of the Dead has each character have their own backstory to it. But then you want to know what's happening. There's a lot of interesting things that happen in this movie, and it's great. There's a zombie tiger in this movie. There's an alpha zombie in this movie as well, like I said, which is great, which actually makes this movie much, much better than what it is. And there's a zombie horse that the alpha zombie rides on. So it's good to see that Zack Snyder took the tropes of the zombie movies and made it into his own, because he's always known for doing that. And Zack Snyder, for a horror zombie heist movie, knows exactly what the fans want. And this was really good. And setting it in Las Vegas, in the desert, in a city where it never sleeps, and what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, it just made everything that much interesting and that much better. For me, Army of the Dead gets four out of five stars. I liked the movie for what it is, but the only thing that brought it down was the running time. It's two hours and 28 minutes long. If you cut it down a little bit and edit out some scenes, 
and made the you know maybe flow a little bit better than the movie would have been a five star but it's a four out of five stars for me now also they're actually doing a spin-off movie with the character of Dieter which takes place before the events of this movie army of the dead maybe hopefully we get to see how the zombie outbreak happened and how the beginning of the movie of army of the dead transpired with how all the military came into this so let me know in the comment section below what you thought about army of the dead did you like it did you not like it did you see it and what did you think of it and what rating would you give it and do you think that Zack Snyder should do zombie movies from here on out even though he was a part of the DC extended universe it's good to see him back in the zombie world and like I said I know everyone out there loved Dawn of the Dead and I want to see where you rank his movie army of the dead let me know in in the comment section below and be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new videos on my channel and you know where to follow market productions and me mr filmstock i'll leave a link to all the social media accounts in the description box below you guys can check it out and follow along i'm anthony thanks for tuning in